Hi everybody, let's get started. Today I do want to give it, uh, give yin a little bit try. So yin is basically slow yoga. So you can consider uh, all of the yoga as like part of meditation. I am terribly like, bad at it because you know my mind just wrestles and I calm it down with movements. But I want to improve my meditation, you know, because we don't do yoga just for our physical health, for our mental health as well. Uh, one way to focus on mental health is, you know, actually doing some physical activity which releases endorphin and, you know, you feel happy and all that. Another way is actually to try to improve your concentration and meditate and all that. So I'll give it a try. Uh, I, I promise it won't be boring, so stay with me. We'll just be more mindful of each one of our movement and just not like go with the flow. So with that thought, let's get started. Also, it, it helps if you uh, set your intention of the practice. Uh, think about what brings you to the mat. And you know, maybe also think about somebody, uh, someone, it could be yourself, that you'd want to dedicate your practice to. As I said, since it's like something we want to make it more mindful, so we'll, we'll just be thoughtful about everything uh, on the mat today. All right, we can start with Parvatasana. Let's take our time in Parvatasana. Notice if your uh, feet are holding equal weight. If it's not, you can actually still just rock and roll. Like come on your toe, come on your heel, lift your toe. So you make it a little imbalance to find your balance basically. So fill with your, with your legs. Try to find a balance and also just swing it. See where your balance is at. And you know, be absolutely sure you're putting equal weight on both of your legs and not making one leg dominant. And to do that also, you can do this. Just come on one leg. And then actually this is something that helped me a lot. I'm facing it that way. Uh, try to shift your weight from side to side. So. Start with equal weight on both and then slowly change your weight to come on left. So now this leg is not carrying any weight. Then drop it and do the same. Slowly transfer your weight to the right leg. And then you can swing it or not, doesn't matter. But basically we are just transferring weight. In, in a like a faster way, it's just like you're trying to come on one leg and the other leg, but since you're doing it slowly, the weight transfer is gradual. So initially you start with one leg, you put the other leg down and slowly transfer to transfer all the weight to the other leg, right? It may seem useless, but it has its own utility. Uh, it, it forces you to actually like shift the weight and focus on that part that, you know, your one leg can carry your weight. It's a little different than uh, when when we do tree pose because you know it's not like a gradual weight shift. Anything gradual is more, or I would say interesting, also sometimes more fruitful. So yeah, we are just gonna do a gradual weight transfer. All right, we've had enough, I think. And then let's now try to Put equal weight on both legs. Uh, come to a prayer pose. Roll your shoulders back. You can do one breathe, one movement. So I'm breathing in, I'm rolling, and then when I finish my rollout, I breathe out. So now I'm rolling my shoulder forward. Though. So yeah, we're just being, being mindful today. Breathing. When we breathe out, do a back bend. Breathe in. Put your hand on your back, lower back. Breathe in. Put your hand on your back of your thighs. Breathe in, come up. When you breathe out, for a fold. Let your head hang.
Let's stay here for some time. We are doing it as I mentioned. Let your head be heavy. And that will help you de-stress your neck. Your neck is holding your head throughout the day. It's not an easy job, trust me. Because head is the biggest or heaviest part of our body. So letting your neck de-stress will help you, your joints, and maybe your height if you're young, young enough. And my age, I definitely won't grow any taller, but my postures can improve and it might make me look taller. Okay, lift up and breathe in. Make sure you shine your collarbone, you look forward, your neck is neutral. Breathe in forward fold. Put your arms down. Breathe in. When you breathe out, step or hop back. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're gonna do five breaths in um, the spine pose. <sighs> All right, now knees, just chin. Breathe in, upward facing dog. Let's hold upward facing dog for some time. Roll your shoulder down, don't scrunch it up. Look back. And check your heels not that there's anything wrong with it but this is a movement to make sure you know if you have neck pain or other mobility issue that will be resolved let's look on the other side all right let's come to down dog breathe in come into down dog breathe out Breathe in, breathe out. When you breathe out every time, maybe you can try to take your down dog deeper. Breathe in, breathe out. Try to, today we are trying to meditate, so try not to think about too many things. Just think about yourself and the man, or think about the third eye. When I want to think about my third eye, basically, I just focus at a point by closing my eyes. Yeah, if we are really able to open our third eye, that will be like amazing and really beneficial. I'm still working with that. If I can get that level of concentration, right leg up, breathe in, breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, breathe out, lift to crescent lunge. Breathe in, face forward, breathe out, plank. Breathe in, down dog. Breathe out, breathe in, left leg up, breathe out. Left leg forward, breathe in, breathe out to come to crescent lunge, breathe in, arms come down, breathe out, come to plank, breathe in, right leg to right arm, breathe out, breathe in, right leg to nose. Breathe out. 
Breathe in, right leg to left arm. Breathe out, come to plank. Breathe in, left leg to left arm. Breathe out, breathe in, left leg to nose. Breathe out, breathe in, left leg to right arm. Breathe in, breathe out to plank. Breathe in, down dog. What I'm trying to do basically focus all your attention to your breath and also movement in a way because you know usually it's one breath, one movement. I know we are going a little slow and that's intentional. Breathe in, right leg up, breathe out, right leg forward. Come to low lunge, breathe in. Breathe out to half Hanumanasana. Breathe in to forward fold. Breathe out to fall deeper. Breathe in, lift your torso. Breathe out to fall deeper. Breathe in to come to crescent lunge again. Breathe out. Today's uh, to Lower your shoulder. Breathe in. Arms down. Breathe in. And then breathe out to come to half an omanasana again. Breathe in. And then while breathing, I guess if you want to come to full hanumanasana. Breathe in, breathe out to fold, if that's in your practice. Coming out, excellent. Don't stop breathing. I guess even if I ask you to, you shouldn't stop breathing. Uh, but just be mindful, that's why I'm being, giving you so many cues. Left leg up, breathe in. Left leg out, breathe out. Breathe in. Press and lunge. Breathe out, come back. Breathe in, half an manasana. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, deeper fold. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, come into a full hanumanasana. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Coming out, come to all fours, breathe in, breathe out, and let's do cat cow, anyway we do this with the breath, breathe in, cat, breathe out, cow, breathe in, cat, breathe out, cow, while we are doing cow, we are shining our collarbone, Looking up with our head, breathe in, letting our head hang, and our torso is curling up. All right, come to neutral. Now we will come on, uh, not come on our knees, but lift our knees, breathe in, breathe out, side, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. One thing I wanted to tell you guys, you still want to keep the shape of being on all fours. Don't raise your hips up or anything. Still try to be in like the same shape as if you're in all fours, just the knee will be hovering, right? Okay. With that, we'll come to chest pose. 
and we are just staying in chair pose for some time at least five breaths I'm into puppy pose. Let's come stay here for three breaths. Now open your side, breathe in, breathe out. To thread the needle. Breathe in, come face forward, breathe out. Breathe in, open your other side. Breathe out. Thread the needle. Breathe in, come face forward. Breathe out. Come to dolphin. Breathe in. Basically do nothing. Breathe out. Oh. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can actually think even maybe breathe in would be easier to help. Let's try. It is. So see, breathe makes so much difference. I gave you a wrong cue where I was telling to go up in breathing out. It's hard to go in breathing out because your body will just give up. So let's breathe in. Right. And breathe out. So yeah, we're still doing our fun exercise, just paying more attention to our breath, which is always good. Come to down dog, breathe in, breathe out, right leg up, breathe in, come into warrior one, breathe in, breathe out warrior two. Breathe in, reverse your warrior, breathe out, side angle. Breathe in, triangle, breathe out, half moon. Breathe in, chapasana, breathe out, natarajasana. Breathe in, standing split. Breathe out, come on your hands. Breathe in. Oh. Breathe out when you come out of the hop. Breathe in, oh. out of. Breathe out when you come out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left leg up, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Warrior one, breathe out, warrior two. Breathe in, reverse your warrior, breathe out, side angle. Breathe in, triangle, breathe out, half moon. Breathe in, chapasan, breathe out, natarajasana. Breathe in, forward fold. Breathe out, put your arms in the front. Breathe in and hop. try come into a forward fold in open legged position so you can increase your left leg uh, so lift your left leg and face forward come into a open legged forward fold don't forget breathing let your head hang
Um, I always consider putting head on the ground optional. So I literally don't like putting my head on the ground. I like my head to hang most of the time. I feel that works better for my neck. But if you feel like, you can also touch your head on the ground. Lift up. Open your right side. Here we come to a bind. I stop giving cue on breathing. I'll start. Breathing. Open your side. Breathe out to a bind. Breathing. Breathe out to come let your bind go. Breathing. Breathe out for a four. Breathing. Come to center. Breathing. Forward fold on the other side. Breathe out, come to center. All right. And then we will come to um, what is that pose called again? Goddess pose. So set your feet to face the side of your mat. And then we will try to make our Thighs parallel to the ground. Breathe in. Uh, we are just stretching our shoulder. Breathe in. Straight to the other side. Nice. All right. We're gonna come. Breathe in and breathe out. All right. Um, we're gonna go side to side in side lunge. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Two. Three. I am intentionally exaggerating my breath so you can hear. All right. Now let's come to Basis Jasna. Forward fold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now let's come to a side stretch. Holding the poses slightly longer. Breathe in. Coming out. And side stretch. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, come down, change your side, what's this person on the other side? Take at least three breaths. Nice. Don't forget our 
favorite pose, Navasana. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, have your chest open. And then come to Mala Leading with your chest for four. hardly call it yin because it's still very fast like yin actually you have to hold like one pose a minute or something which i'm really far from but i want to do like sometimes at least it really like drives your patience so you know i want to be a patient person so anyway we're in a uh, spinal twist so position yourself for that i'm gonna try to hold this for 10 breaths we'll see breathe in Come rotate, look back, and let's come on mind down. Nice. So we did ten breaths. Let's do the other side. Ten breaths. Nice. You haven't done pigeon for a while. I'm gonna come to pigeon. This is a double pigeon. You're gonna recline and hold. Ten breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Coming out. Yeah, actually, it holds like holding takes the pose deeper and actually feels nice for me. Breathe in uh, after changing leg and then recline. Coming out. Let's come to bridge pose. Let's take five breaths. Build. Gonna hold supine twist for a little bit. Um, if time permits, breathe in, breathe out. 
extends the front twist. In your side, go to the other side. I took 10 breaths. Uh, if you haven't finished your 10 breaths, you should still continue. I'm gonna be in Savasana. Take five breaths, mainly because I'm out of time. If you have time, please take more breaths. Come to your favorite side, your feet in pose. something I believe in some culture that we are born with uh, like a limited number of breaths so uh, that's another reason I think why why in yoga they motivate you to take it easy and breathe slowly deeply uh, because the thought is if you do that you can elongate your life because even though you are born with say an X count of breath you can elongate your life by elongating your breath uh, I don't know how true that is but yeah, that, that's something that is believed. All right, uh, we're gonna close our practice with a round of home breathing. Oh. Let me know in comment if you like doing yoga a little slowly. Uh, today actually, I think it did feel more of yoga than workout. Most of the time I feel it's more of a workout than yoga. Um, I think I concentrate mostly on my breathing and nothing else. My mind might have wandered here and there a little bit, but mostly it was uh, composed. So yeah, let me know how it worked for you. See you guys tomorrow.